my lovers cancer nation and their lovers welcome to your february 2020 astrological sign updates guys i just want to take this opportunity um it's been a year since i started my channel so um february the second of the second it's gonna mark a year and it's just been an absolutely amazing run and i want to thank you all for your support your subs your likes shares subscribes your dislikes your comments um those of you that ordered personal readings and services um people who um went that extra distance joined patreon bought extended links um made donations um both monetary and tarot cards in fact um the cards that we're using today this archangel power tarot cards was donated um, by rashida and this um, deck that we're going to get into in the extended for advice from spirit was donated by Nadia. So I thank both of them. Um, so it's really been the effort of all of us that have made the channel um, very successful. Also, by the time you watch this reading, I would have launched my sister channel, um, the Pick a Card Empress, for those of you who enjoy Pick a Cards. Okay, so please go over there, um, mess with YouTube's analytics, um, you know, just like up the videos. Um, you know, so it, it really helps me. Okay, so remember when you're watching these readings for love, cancer, um, you're not just going to watch your sun sign, you're going to watch your moon, your Venus, your rising sign, and then your person's placement in these areas because sometimes when we have soul connections, the energies can be flipped because, and some, um, I mean, it, there's an intermingling of energies, right? Especially with a twin flame connection, right? You, you're sharing this energy body. So the energies can be flipped. Um, and sometimes spirit wants you to see their their side of things and their perspective. So um, we get that um, we get that different perspective there. All right, so let's see how your person's feeling generally, not necessarily related to you, but we're gonna clarify. All right, so your person's sad. They are sad. They are missing you. That's what I'm hearing. They are missing you, um, and their life. Is not going as as they thought it would. Um, they thought all oh, these flowers would be blooming. There would be lots of abundance in their life. Um, but there's no color in their life. Their life is very cut and dry. They're bored. They're bored, guys. They're bored. They are bored. We have reckless. So they could be engaging in reckless behaviors, or they could be feeling like, you know, like the fool's energy, um, which is, they might want to take a leap of faith. So I'm going to clarify these, because these are going to give us a story. Wow, a lot of black and white. Energy. They're power hungry, so there's some kind of power they're going after. I don't know if it's economic or, or otherwise. Who are you guys dealing with, Cancer? <laughs> They're solution oriented, so there's a problem for them to be looking for a solution. There is a problem, and they are haunted by the past. I'm hearing the past. They're haunted by their past. They're oh, why did I say their past? All right, I meant to say they're haunted by the past with you, but spirit is saying they are haunted by their past. They're haunted by their past. Um, their past is a tangled web which they've not been looking at in fact they're trying to run from them through escapist behaviors interesting guys all right let's clarify these cards so we get the real the, the, the messages but that's just what i'm getting it's just what i'm hearing Spirit saying some of them um, could like actually be like like haunted, haunted. Like, you know, they're very intuitive and can tap into um, the spirit world. But I'm getting, I heard very distinctly, haunted by their past. All right, so we see a, there's a person hard at work and they're also trying to escape from their past through work. I think there's some kind of decision that they want to make here. Um, there's a lot of people that might have been interfering with your connection. Um, and they, 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 they want to be happy. They're not happy right now. It, I mean, this card says that they're not happy right now. All right, let's find out why they're not happy. 
Spirit, why did you show us the side card? The side card. <laughs> they're sad because they're not with you. All right, so they have this psychic connection with you. Cancer, this is Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Um, they were feeling this love, but they did something to F it up. Let's see. Let's see what happened. Now they want to make this solid up and they want they want to they want to make a comeback. They want to make a comeback. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Virgo. They want to make a comeback, so they're here strategizing. Because this is what this King of Wands does best. He's a Leo and he's a strategist because he, he's a warrior. He leads men into war. And you know, the your most powerful weapon in war is a wise strategy. So he's trying to this guy, this person. They're trying to get this wise strategy. This is the first time I've noticed this ring. Ooh. For some of you guys, this person is married. This is the first time I've noticed this ring. They're married and weirdly enough, I think um, they might be a Taurus because it's emerald, right? Emerald is a stone. And emerald is a stone of me. I know because I'm a Taurus, right? <laughs> emerald is a stone of me. So for some of you guys, this could be a Taurus that you're dealing with. Interesting. I'm also getting this person's like you, Cancer. I think they're tough on the outside, but on the inside, they're a little softy. And that's because I'm noticing this tights. Yes, I know they used to wear tights, but I don't know. I'm really drawn to the tights and the shoes today. So I'm getting, okay, he's all up here, all manly, big tunic. He has all this gold, you know. He's a man. And then the, the, the stockings. So that's what I'm getting that, you know, balance of masculine and feminine energy. Anyway, so they're, they're strategizing. They're taking action here because... They want to make a comeback. For some of them, um, they're definitely married and they're thinking about getting a divorce. That's why we have the two of um, cups in reverse. Spirit, why did you give us this reckless card? You gave us this reckless card because they are not happy. Okay? They are not happy. They might be drinking. Uh, they're very guarded right now. Um, but they're looking to fight for this connection. They're like, like, fuck it. I have to make things right. I have to make things right. Some of you guys deal with a Libra. I have to make things right. So they're, they're looking to go to war. They're looking to go to war, guys. What are they power hungry? What, what's that card about? Okay. All right. So they were in some kind of karmic cycle where they felt disempowered. So now that they're over that cancer, um, they're coming for um, power. They had a tower moment in their life. Everything crumbled. Everything crumbled. I, I do believe that they were in a connection that was based on um, some kind of power, power, some kind of power dynamic. Ooh, heard the name power couple. I heard power couple. There was some, they thought they were in a relationship that they were a power couple. Mm -mm -mm. And Spirit showed them exactly who had the power and brought the tower down. So I'm feeling a third party situation with this. Yes, Spirit revolutionized everything. So for some of you, there's definitely strong Scorpio here with both the tower and the death card, but the tower can also be Aries. So there's an enter karmic cycle here. This person went into this connection for power, feeling its economic power, but it's just, they wanted to stroke their ego. They wanted to stroke their ego. Okay. And they thought they could stroke their ego with this particular connection. There's something about that connection that they thought would give them access to power. So now they're solution oriented. What's the problem then? Yeah, because they deceived you in the past. You might not even be talking right now. They never expressed their love, but now they're making a decision for their life. They want to invest in your connection, but I think they're still with this other person. And that's why they're solution oriented. What are they haunted by? Money? <laughs> Stability? Okay, it's the past. Look, he's looking back at the past. Knows that he needs to move forward because most of his torso is forward. But looking back at the past. Oh, Spirit saying he's ha that this person's haunted by their foundation. They're haunted by their foundation. So there's a root chakra blockage. They're haunted by their foundation. There's something that happened in their childhood that made them very unstable. They're haunted by their foundation. What else? Yeah, but now they want to release that because they know that it's not serving them. 
We have this four of pentacles in reverse. They want to make a solid offer. They want to be solid. They want to be solid. I think they went into that other situation because I am picking up another situation. And, and, and the other situation could be career. It could be career. They could have chosen their career over you. Right? They went into that other situation because they want to be solid. They want to feel stable. But here they are strategizing, trying to figure out, you know, how do they get back into your life? Alrighty, so Spirit, tell us what's happening in their life right now. Could you tell us in four cards, please? What's happening in this person's life right now? In four cards, Spirit, tell us. See the time. Here. Oh, there's been a wake up call. Somebody woke up and smelled the bread burning. Because that, that's actually a bread guy. Yeah, there's a guy that goes around and delivers the bread. Okay. Um, oh, that's the, um, the compressed natural gas guy. So there was something that exploded. <laughs> there was something that exploded. I don't mean to laugh. I don't know why that came out. Yeah, there's just an explosion of emotion. All right, so we have imprisonment. So this person feels like they're locked up. Um, there's something happening with um, their social circle. Um, it's the card number 30, 39. 39 reduced to 12. This is 11 because that's 29. 29 reduced to 11. So 11, 12. There's some kind of progression that's happening here. Um, there's a big change because there was some kind of message. A message of concern is not a nice message. See, she's oh, this person's holding their chest. They're about to have a heart attack. Right, so there's some kind of message that was received into their life there um, that caused them or somebody in their life concern. We're going to clarify. Let's get another card. Something is dying. Something is coming to an end. 19 reduces to 10. And 10 is about endings. And then 10, of course, reduces to 1, which is about beginnings. And then we have 19 here, which is the sun. So something is going to die for the sun to rise again in their life. Right? So something is slowly dying here. And then there's an expectation of an ending because 28 reduces to 10 as well. So lots of endings happening here. Um, let's, let's, let's find out what these cards mean, though. Spirit, tell us about this imprisonment. Why are you showing us that card? All right. Spirit is showing us that card. It's because um, they're trapped with the secrets and the lies. So they told you a lot of lies. They kept a lot of secrets. And now they've locked themselves um, into that space because they don't know how to get out now of this weave, this web that they wove here. Wherever they are, they're feeling impoverished. Look at them. Look at the mouse here. They're feeling impoverished and they're feeling pretty nervous too. Pretty nervous. There's a lot of nervous energy. Anxiety. Anxiety. Right? There's a lot going on behind the scenes. This is a secret. So this person could have a controlling partner. Um, they could be abused, mistreated, and they can't tell anyone about it. All this is going on behind the scenes. Whilst the, the power couple... It puts on a show. Interesting spirit. Yeah. Um, this person here. Um, they're ready to follow their intuition and manifest their total wishful fulfillment. They were trapped in their thoughts before. Um, and it only made them unstable and put them in situations that were unstable. But now they want to manifest. They want to take a leap of faith here. Yeah, because they're, they're in prison. They're in prison. Tell us about this community that's in their life. All right. So they're, dis they're dealing with some distorted feminine energy. Now, distorted feminine energy um, is manipulative, especially sexually manipulative. Um, it's codependent. It's clingy. It's emotionally immature. It's abusive. So this is what they're dealing with in their social circle and environment right now. That's what's happening in their environment. 
Yeah. There's some kind of betrayal here. There's some kind of very painful ending that's happening um, in their intimate family circle. I see a man, a woman, and a child. So there's some kind of big ending here. And look, look these people in the back just talking, talking about it. So there's a lot of gossip going on too. There's a lot of gossip. So a big ending happening and a lot of gossip going on. What's this message of concern? Yeah, um, somebody would, um, <laughs> delivered a message that they had made a decision. Let's see what that is. Yeah, they, they were trapped, they were imprisoned, and they decided to take action. They decided to take action um, to end some kind of third-party situation. They are absolutely heartbroken. Everybody in the situation is heartbroken, and that's why she's holding her heart here. And that's because, one... Your person wanted to make a decision for their happiness. And two, there's a family situation that's ending. So everyone is heartbroken over this situation. Yeah, but at the same time, there's a lot of healing that's taking place too. This message is bringing a lot of healing. Okay, I think your person was indecisive because there might have been a child involved. But they, they, they eventually they made a decision. And they and they felt that it was the mo the, f the most fair decision to make, um, under the circumstances. So there's something that's dying here. Spirit, talk about this coffin. Yeah, somebody expressed their emotions finally. Yeah, they, they spoke their truth, and this truth is what's bringing about the death of whatever this is. It looks like it's some kind of bad romance. Bad romance. I heard bad romance. It's a bad romance. So what's the expectation here? We have cancer again. So it looks like they're thinking about you cancer and they're thinking about taking this leap of faith. But there's just something that has to end first. Okay. Interesting, guys. So cancer, what is their mental energy where you are concerned? Yeah, because something is definitely ending. No doubt about it. Um, it's the end of the power couple. The end of the power couple. So we have a two of wands. So that's somebody that was trying to make a decision. And then finally they just woke up. They just woke up and recognized that they were just in a particular situation because of their insecurities. And that's why they chose to take action. Uh, their mental energy, where you can see. <clears throat> so we have the eight of cups reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the six of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Four of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy, and then we have the Emperor. All right, which is Aries and Taurus energy. So just on the surface, without clarification, I'm getting here, um, somebody stepped into their power and took action. Um, and they took action because there's some kind of commitment that they want to bring to you. With this Four of Wands here, and they've been guided by spirit to bring this commitment to you. For some of you, it's a twin flame connection. Um, this person, this situation was very unbalanced in the past, okay? I think you were overgiven to the situation. Things were not balanced. And then I think maybe the situation just ended. <clears throat> they chose someone else. <clears throat> this person couldn't speak their truth. And they couldn't walk away from the things that no longer serve them for some particular reason. Okay? They weren't connected to their heart space. Let me clarify. Spirit, why, why have you given us this Eight of Cups reversed? Yeah, so um, Eight of Cups Upright talks about walking away from things that no longer serve you, making decisions for your happiness. Um, and this person was delaying that because I think there were children involved, one. Um, and both them and maybe the partner that they were with were very immature, okay? Very immature, especially when it came to communication, but then spirit brought in the tower. 
spirit brought in the towel, right? But it had to end. So this person wasn't budging. Um, they were unhappy, but they were staying in their um, unhappy situation. But then spirit brought the tower down. So some event occurred that made this whole thing crumble. And then there was this painful ending. Now it could be that the foundation that they had built with you was also unstable as well. And I mean, and a person who's unstable emotionally, which we already established up there, can't build a stable foundation with anyone else. So I think they might have had an unstable foundation with you as well, Cancer. And that too had to end. So that something could be rebuilt. Okay, what's the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, this person was playing mind games with you. They were trying to effort your head, but they only were sabotaging themselves. I don't think they recognize how much they liked you or were in love with you at the time their heart was closed off. They weren't willing to accept their truth. They weren't willing to be their authentic self. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius. So they were very detached from their heart space. But now they want to invest in no connection. Now they want to bring some kind of commitment, some kind of stability. And that's why um, they took this action here. Um, let me see the action that they took. But it took control of their life. Yeah, their life wasn't going anywhere. And plus they had lost you, Cancer. But now they want to be this provider protector. So that's why they stepped into their power and took control of whatever situation um, is going on here. Um, we have 4-4 four, four here. So this person now is looking forward to establishing a firm foundation um, with you. But there's something in their life that has to end first and that is ending with that four, coffin card. So if this is resonating with you, Cancer, join me in Extended either on Patreon or Vimeo. Um, on Patreon, um, the cost is $5.55 for the month and that's access to all my Extended. And I do about three Extended per week. Or you can buy the link separately for $3.33 and um, and that's on Vimeo. Okay, so join me over there. If you're not joining me over there, thank you very much for tuning in. And if you can just um, tap the like button, make a comment down below, or go there um, a step further and click on any of the ads I play during the video, that will be really nice. Okay, okay, guys, take care. Bye.